In high definition, this is News Channel 5, where the news comes first. Protect yourself. If you really don't want to lose something, put it in the kid's bedroom. Tips to prevent burglaries from the burglars themselves. Inside the minds of burglars themselves. Tonight, eye-opening information to protect yourself on how burglars think, what they're looking for, and how they choose their targets. News Channel 5's Mike Rush reports there have been nearly 6,000 burglaries this year in St. Louis alone. They very carefully uh, took the, the trim off of this window. Robert Welker breaks down his recent break-in. When somebody breaks into it uninvited, uh, it, it's pretty unsettling. And unsolved. Welker suspects whoever broke into his rental house came from outside the community. But Richard Wright finds, in many cases, burglars... They seldom really venture all that far from their place of residence. What does he know? Well, you might say Wright wrote the book on burglary. Burglars on the job came out years ago, but he believes because so many people are touched by burglary, interest in his findings continues today. This seems to be the book that refuses to die. In part, no doubt, because Wright, a criminology professor at the University of Missouri-St. Louis, and his co-author wrote the book based on interviews with 105 active burglars. And in some cases interviewed on the streets, uh, right here in, in St. Louis, Missouri. The number one takeaway from the candid conversations with the criminals. The extent to which people actually may have had some familiarity with the person who burgled their house. Not friends or neighbors, but maybe gardeners, repair or delivery people. They're for any kind of sign of occupancy. So things like newspapers out in front. Dark houses, empty driveways. But Wright says a significant finding is burglars also listen for you to tell them when you're a good target. One of the things I, I, I noticed a lot was you'd get people saying things like, well, you know, I was working in their house and they, I heard them talking on the phone and they said, yeah, we're going on vacation for two months. Wright says on the top of the burglar's wish list. Guns, jewelry, cash. To find those things once they're in your house, Wright says oftentimes the burglar's number one stop, master bedroom, bedside tables, and the rooms they're least interested in, your kids. If you really don't want to lose something, put it in the kid's bedroom. Overall, the burglars Wright interviewed were nonviolent and not remorseful, like the guy who broke into houses only to rearrange the furniture. And he said to me, I know those people are still wondering what I took. And then he leaned forward and said, and I didn't take a thing. Mike Rush, News Channel 5 cover story. Wright says one of the most important things you can do is to be careful who you share your plans with. That includes posting that you're on vacation on Facebook. Cindy Pressler joins us now after a cool November.